What up, YouTube? This is the two big bros, and you're hanging out with I Think About It. And Professor the Joe. And today, I want to talk about what is going on with all this. Should I say. I don't want to sound. Uh, black phobic. But why. Why are. Like a lot of um, social media stuff, am I seeing black people? Sounds like you're cool. Yeah. What? Afro Americans. Yeah, or... but you cannot say African Americans because some they don't even like to be called, and some of them don't even like to be called African American. Some don't like to be called American, black Americans, or. Or something. I don't know. We don't want to butt hurt nobody. Anyways, a lot Sorry of Sorry for the butt hurting. A lot of um, darker complexion people <laughs> say that they're getting um, they're getting racially profiled. Racially profiled because they're they're getting stopped by the police and because because they're black. Um, that may be the case, but if, if the, um, if the, what is that, what, what is it, what they say, APB or not? You gotta give a description. Oh, uh, description. If the description of a person is white male wearing a black tank top and I'm outside, they're gonna stop me. In fact, there was a, there was a situation when I was living on the streets where um, this cop ran up on the sidewalk with his car and told me to get down on the ground um, because I met a description of somebody breaking into cars. And I never went to race this way. I just heard what he said and he checked me out and then he let me on my way. Was I humiliated? Was I terrified for my life? Yes, I was. But he was doing his job. Yeah. Um, it, 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 um, Hispanic. If you're, if the description goes out as a Hispanic male, five foot, and they're short usually. Yeah, five foot, uh, five foot four, a uh, Hispanic male. I'm sorry if you're walking down the street and you're a Hispanic male at five foot four, wearing a white t-shirt and khaki shorts. Is that, is that profiling? Well, if, if the description yeah. of the person was that they were wearing a white shirt and khaki shorts and they're of Hispanic and right, but a Hispanic person. Right, even, but even the clothes, your clothes don't need to match because I could clearly take off my shirt or change my shirt while yes. running. So any nationality description goes out. Every nationality that matches that description will get stopped. Yeah, I got stopped just because my vehicle met the description of a vehicle that they were looking for. I was driving by this park in Paia, Giggle Hill. That's high cool. Whatever, Giggle Hill. Anyway, I got stopped by the cops. They made me get out of the car, put my hands on the hood and everything, and all the people in my car do that. And they frisked us and everything because there was somebody in the park, shooting rounds at targets in the park, illegally, and their vehicle was similar or the same description as my vehicle. Same color, same make, and I just happened or to be driving by the park. maybe they misidentified their vehicle. Maybe they just thought that that was the vehicle of the person shooting. Well, the description that they had was extended cab Silverado 1500 blue that's, that's exactly what I was driving that's what I don't I, that's what I kind of don't understand like you know somebody could really fuck you up by they think just calling the description of your car and say that oh he's driving erratically and you know that the cops will come and find you and pull you over even if though if you wasn't driving erratically 
Yes. They just go off by the description and the complaint. Correct. Nobody's out to get a certain race. Or I don't know, you know, we live in Hawaii and we're so mixed in nationalities. I mean, we had a cop of color and he was in a situation where a local person was using a vehicle as a weapon and he shot the person. Yeah, are you talking about Johnson? I don't know. Yeah, Johnson and Paia. Yeah. Yeah, they were not using the car as a weapon. That's what he said. But they crashed into the telephone pole in Paia town and they were trying to reverse to get away. And they and then Johnson turned around and said that they were trying to run him over. Uh if they smash into the telephone pole and you shoot them four times in the drive in, in, in through the windshield, right? How in the world were they trying to run you over when they were reversing the car? Anyways, that's a that's a, a touchy subject, but uh, cops are just trying to do their job the best they can here. Nobody is really out to get you. Uh, our our second in command is a black man. Yeah, and the chief was a Samoan guy. No, not that. What? The new one from Vegas. Oh, I don't know. Now his second in command is a is, is a black is guy. Um. So there's not well. It's different here. It's I don't really see I don't see I don't really see racism here. I mean I know it's here, but it, it might not be as bad as like what is that like Alabama or those kind of states. Like I I had a uh, uh African American friend that got very upset with me because I don't understand. I didn't. I don't understand how she grew up uh, in in like text. I think she's from Texas or whatever. Um, yeah, I don't understand it because because we never because I never went through it. But I you can't really get mad at somebody who's ignorant. Uh, yeah, there's a difference between ignorant and just um, blind to it. Like I, I know that, I know that they got it hard. But uh, okay, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to open this. Just keep it as nobody is getting singled singled out. It happens to all of us. When cops need to check people, they need to do their job. Because what? How do they know that you're not the guy? They have to check. And if they don't check, they're not doing their job. Because they're not psychic. Right. And if they were psychic, they would know the crime was going to happen before and, you. And, and they could arrest you. And the criminals are not wearing, I'm the criminal you're looking for. So, jacket. yeah, so let them do the job and don't take it personal. It might be terrifying and you might be humiliated, but let my cousin no, you know what? pull me over how many times at night. You know what's funny, right? Is you, it, it could have been like a simple stop and, and investigate, it could have been a single. Simple, simple incident. In yeah, and you. But then they make it worse. Yeah, by not working with the cops, not cooperating, and or you know, fighting back. Yeah, or making a big deal. Mm -hmm. Like just let them do their job and, and let them go on their way. 
So that's all they want to do. Do your job and go home. Yeah. Just like you. You want to do your job and go home. Right. It is. Let us know what you think about Miss... I don't even know what I'm going to call this. Um, uh, let us know what you think about cops uh, doing their job and uh, if we should make it any harder for them. You, you know, and, and then you guys wonder why oh, um, cops can't do their job and oh, how come the investigation takes so long because everybody... It ain't willing to cooperate, and you know what? If you're not doing anything bad, and you're not the one, then well, you gotta what, waste their time by doing something. Yeah, stupid. what? What? What's so bad? I mean, I believe me, I don't like cops, but I respect them because I know that there needs cops to have some sort of order. Uh, but you know, you know the time that I had my stroke. Dude, I'm crawling to my car on the ground at night, trying to get to my car. And the cop came and said, are you blah, blah, blah? Yes. Now I'm crawling on the ground, on my ass, okay, at night, like like 11.30 at night, crawling. And they said, oh, you know what? Uh, you need to leave the property. I told him, um, I'm crawling to my car. I'm in the process of leaving the property he said okay because uh i i don't want to have to come back here tonight went up the street turned around came back down oh you're leaving right yes i'm leaving okay didn't ask me if i need assistance didn't ask me what's wrong with me uh now is, is that cool i don't think so if you want me off the property then help me Help me get off the property. Shit, put me in the back of your car and fucking take me somewhere. I don't care. Not leave somebody crawling on the ground at night. You but they're gonna say they're gonna say you didn't ask for assistance. Oh yeah, like uh like the criminal is gonna need a, a name tag, right? I'm the criminal. Oh I'm gonna have to say, oh, I need assistance crawling on the middle of the fucking road at night. In this day and age, yeah. Well, anyways. you know what all the Karens? I I don't like cops either. Uh, cops have never really helped me. Even when my car got robbed, they told me, "Oh, was your car unlocked?" I said, "So what are you telling me? If I walk up the street, I can go into anybody's car that's unlocked." They're like, oh, Mr. Mr. Blah, 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 my last name. Oh, no, are we going to have to come back here? No, but I, why are you asking me if my car was unlocked? It doesn't matter if my car was unlocked. It doesn't matter if my door was wide open. Nobody has a right to go into somebody else's property and take something that doesn't belong to them. That's why when you stick your hand in somebody's window, that's breaking it. Yeah, door. yeah. You can get charged with breaking right. the entry. That's why I don't like to grab people out of their cars. Anyway, uh, we've been kicking this dead horse for long <laughs> enough. Uh, All us. I can say is... Oh, my! Okay, yo, go, gabba, go, gabba. Go, go, go. Um, you may not like cops. I've had some family members that were cops. I have family people that's cops, too. I really don't got problems... With the police. I don't got problems with the police either. Except for the fact that they wouldn't let me be one, but okay. Oh my god, thank you. Thank, <laughs> thank you! You're the biggest mistake. <laughs> but anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Alright, until next time. Bye!